Hey guys and welcome back to Let It Die. Today we are going to be covering again the flamethrower, the new TDM weapon that is dropping in season four. Found out is it season four? I really hope it's season four. Otherwise, I mistitled and missaid a bunch of shit. But honestly, that's just that comes with the territory with me. But I don't know what to believe anymore uh, because this is how it goes. Um, last time I said that this was kind of weird because it goes from 763 to 800. It's like a hundred, a hundred point increase. And I was like, what the hell is that about? <laughs> it seems relatively shitty. Like, I, I don't see why you'd want to evolve this weapon. But then, oh, but then it goes into 3,000. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the thing that's crazy about this is it, it's actually really handy that it's a fire weapon. Uh, because there's decals that specifically buff a ton of fire damage. So, yeah. So, I, I don't know. Again, we've had weapons that deal like, uh, like the spear does like 4,000. But yet, it doesn't one-shot Gato. But yet, my, my, uh, this, which does uh, 1,000 damage right now, is still two shots Gato. You know what I mean? It, like, the spear, I think, three shot him or something like that. Point being, what is damage? <laughs> what does it mean? Um, already this was pretty good, just, I was already kind of sold on the fact that it's, it's rage move was not an animal, and didn't just rip apart its durability, which is awesome. Uh, but, I also love the fact that you have a lot of fire, like a lot, a lot of gasoline in the tank, so you can basically just hold this down forever. And the range, I didn't actually notice it until I was in editing, but I was like, oh my god, you can actually be pretty far away, like a safe distance away. Uh, but yes, this weapon, if you haven't seen the previous video, we go over, we're gonna go over everything, every, blah, <laughs> we're gonna go over everything again, uh, but, I don't know, man, it's like, that's, this thing was doing nothing to Gato, but it was doing a lot to just, like, other enemies, but with that much damage increase, I don't know, it might be, uh, we'll see, this is kinda like the deciding factor for me. Which, honestly, that's a kind of cool way of doing it, where it's like, yes, it doesn't start off that good, but similar to the, the huge uh, sword, <laughs> the, the flame sword, similar to that weapon, if you invest in it, when it gets to its last tier, holy god, is it worth it. The flame sword is kind of iffy until you get to its final uh, final form. But, I did take, uh, take this one and uh, grind a couple enemies. I was just trying to, I was farming reversal metal and, and silk, because we need all that, but, oh god. Farming reversal metal is the worst. It is the worst hands down. Because you don't get to like, I would love it if they had like just a pit with like a ton of different tubers. Uh, because it sucks going into like a, a place to farm a tuber and there's only one each time. And it takes a long ass time to go back. <sighs> Sorry, uh, we're just venting. Uh, venting, venting, venting. But, here we go, we're at 17, we're almost at 20, I'm hoping we'll get to 20 in this video. Uh, but... Uh, as of things that it does and increases, it's the same shit we've always seen. Uh, increased to attack power, nice, gortastic experience, because that matters. <laughs> uh, rage move power increase, that's nice. Um, attack power, blah, blah, blah. Also, we unlocked its second hit at 10, its alternative radiation smash. Stamina cost reduction, because that was even a problem. <laughs> wow. Uh, kill coins on gortastics, yeah, man, they really need to do something about the whole, uh, skill mastery, because it's all terrible. Man, <laughs> who cares about, like, I really want a weapon that doesn't give a shit about kill coin, gortastic, increase. But who knows, maybe we get something at its end tier. Oh, also, let's go talk to Eugene. I forgot Eugene uh, tells us stuff. Maybe he has some sort of secret tip about this weapon. Because uh, he typically does. Like, uh, one of the things that they don't tell you about the uh, hockey stick is if you light attack and heavy attack, it amplifies that damage, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure, I think that's how it works. What do you guys tell me that? Yeah. And I think it's the case. Thanks, Eugene. I haven't seen you in a long time. Know the distance. The flamethrower weapon, huh? Except for the rage move, these things can't actually stop the enemy's movements. Meaning, you need to get a good sense of distance. Kinda like with girls. The range increases if you up the mastery, though. Mastery level, though. Huh. That's it? <laughs> That's the big thing. Distance stuff. Okay. Huh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, hey, the longer you hold down the trigger, the more damage it deals, or something. <laughs> Not just that, but thanks, I guess. Also, can we just appreciate how aesthetically pleasing all this looks? Uh, also, we didn't go through uh, what, what this one turns into. So yes, we have an insane jump to damage, which is lovely. Its durability is 170 because it's already maxed out. Lovely. Guard attack is C. Who cares? <laughs> um, max ammo is 160. And if you bring that up to tier 5, I can only imagine 
the devastation. Rage move cost two and doesn't have a huge uh, rage cost uh, as well. It's rage move is fire cannon launch an explosive fireball. Uh, we should be doing more damage now that we have a better mastery with it and let's go. Uh, first, we're gonna go to the treacherous, unforgiving 12th floor. Just, just, I gotta make a pit stop. Okay, we need 10 stuck per upgrade of this fucking armor, guys. And guess how much goddamn steel? 21 steel per upgrade. <laughs> ah. Good news is I upgraded, I upgraded both the pants and the chest piece, so I'm gonna have in like an hour the full set of the next tier. Which should be fun. The reversal metal is gonna be a pain in the ass of the farm for the feet, though. The legs? Ugh. I'm a bit sad that it didn't, like, it's the same exact copy as this one, except it's like, and it's purple and red. <laughs> and I'm like, that's, that's its final form? That's what you, okay. <laughs> I, um, Back off, fire! Fire! How good is the distance? Let's really try to mess with this. The only thing is, is that distance actually requires you to have like a... Let's go over here. Now the distance is extremely good. Um, but it takes a little bit to get there. It's kind of like a slow projectile. No silk up here. Great. Great. <laughs> Nothing down here either. Good days. <laughs> good days. <sighs> We're gonna stop at floor 36, the most treacherous of places. Again? Not because I need steel, nothing like that. It's just because, hey, it's like a fun place <laughs> to hang out. I don't know. I'm just really happy that, like, like in the last video, I was kind of, this is the, it was the first time I was seeing it. But I was actually, I'm really hyped that, like, we got the shit slashed out of us by, it was a lesser tier bowling crusher. But, I don't know. I'm still, oh my god. Pff, oh, Jesus. I think we fought, last in the last video, we fought Gato. And then we fought Gato again because we didn't get hit once. I think we didn't get hit once again. Because I did. I, Mm. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. I forgot what we were doing. It go you get stuck into autopilot. I Anyways, we're going to try not to use one to the right yet. Uh, just because I know the one to the left is enough for these things. With this with drill, guys, you got to get like real close to them. There we go. And then we just bop. And then we just bop. And then we go. Hover metal. I don't know if we need hover metal. Oh, by the way, I think I decide on a headpiece to upgrade. I think I'm going to go with the paladin head. Um, it, it buffs health, uh, stamina, or, or, uh, is it stamina? No, sprint speed and melee damage, all by five. It's very balanced, which is lovely. All right. Okay, I was, I was expecting it to, you know, that whole damage thing is always iffy. Hi. Oh, wow, you're actually, don't push me off. There. Also, we got to remember to use this, because this is great. It's probably my favorite thing about it. It's the only reason why I want to upgrade it, honestly. The whole range thing is a bit iffy. I just like the like the left hook smash. <laughs> Hello, you're naked, so I'm not gonna bother with you. Oh, also, uh, the damage is also a tiny. It's still burning. You're still burning. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> the damage is slightly better. Be well, actually, is it? My left hook might be, but basically, I put on this helmet because it gives me plus 14 to damage, which is great. Uh, but also, is super weak, <laughs> so it will snap instantly. Uh, but yeah, that that's why we're uh, we're hitting maybe just a tiny bit harder. Also, not a good steel run. <laughs> we got like two, but that's the next better than nothing. Uh, let's go to 37. Uh, but that's basically my steel run, by the way. Actually, like my yesterday when I was playing just like marathon playing a, a ton, my my rotation is 33, 36, 37 uh, because I both of those areas give me steel um, or have a high chance of giving me steel, and then I get my uh, candy wool for my armor, and that was my rotation <laughs> just constantly. Uh, but the paladin thing, the only thing that scares me is it, t it takes 11 uh, ultra pure iron. Uh, for the headpiece when it gets into its next tier, uh, which is not that bad considering I already have nine ultra iron, but still, it's like, ah, and then after you upgrade that, it costs even more, except it also co costs some sort of copper nonsense. Also, I'm not even sure it looks cool, and that's, the, I'll be honest, that's the main reason. <laughs> it's, I'm like, hey, hey, if you fuck up what I got going on here with your red gold bullshit, I might be pissed, <laughs> okay? <laughs> that's also a problem. Oh, wow, I thought that would be enough. Hmm... Hey, go on. Oh no. I miscalculated. <laughs> My calculations were sound, but goddamn am I bad at math. <laughs> yeah, I got, that's the thing you gotta do with the weapon, is you gotta lock on first. And that's something I'm not doing. It's just a click of the joystick, not that bad. Make way! 
Now, steel can spawn here. It's wood. And here. Lovely. Hey, bro. We don't need to do this. Gotta get smarter with that distance. Wah! Stop! 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 Yeah, I think I might just use it like this. Ah, it doesn't do that much damage. That one does. 7,000. That's not that much. Ah. Maybe this weapon isn't for me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done it. I don't know. Again, it's crazy that it's like, it does that much damage, but, I mean, it's not really eviscerating people, you know? It is. It's doing good, but it's just not good based on the standards of good from, like, weapons that I'm using. How do I get up to... All right. Also, damn. <laughs> I noticed in uh, the last couple of videos, I'm getting into a bad habit, and I talked about this many times on the channel, but I basically... I have a huge issue with uh, with speaking quickly uh, because I'm trying to like keep up with my brain essentially and I just need to like slow it down it, 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 people I think it's better that way uh, for a vi vast variety of reasons just to slow down what you're saying and make sure people can hear every word that you're trying to speak rather than just fighting to get to the next word my bad <laughs> I'll try to improve on it I, I definitely hear it sometimes thus far uh, it's not, it's not like I was expecting it to do pretty insane. <laughs> Maybe that was mistaken, I don't know. Alright, we're fighting Gato, who I believe is, is neutral to, uh, gunfire and all that, so yeah. Oh, so maybe my helmet reduces dexterity attack? That could be a case, that could be the case for sure. Should check that, I think it does, actually. Yikes. No! Alright, not bad, not bad damage. Go, 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 Okay. All right. That works. But we need to get Gato out of this bullshit form, so he needs him to attack. There we go. Oh, okay. That left hook did a lot of damage. Let's fight Gato one more time and see about that left hook. Because that left hook seemed like it was doing something. Also, does the helmet... <laughs> I didn't get a check. Uh, the helmet does not reduce dexterity. It does, however, reduce my health, but also gives me a ton of physical damage and also resistance. So as much as I have little health, I have more resistant armor and whatnot, which is great. I really, th I, um, I don't know, because the paladin armor, <laughs> this one, it's my head basically. That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, the paladin armor, I'm not sure, it may go with the cape, but I'm not sure if it'll go, because it's very rustic steel. But then again, maybe we'll go with its next evolution, which looks a lot more fancy, which of course I don't like. I like it looking mean and like I like it. I like the iron look. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't mind the silver look. You might be asking, well, why does this matter? Uh, what the hell? Why aren't you, why aren't you just picking the most efficient piece of armor? Because, dude, this way it it makes me have to, to be okay at fighting. Maybe I don't need the best armor, i.e., enforcement gear. Maybe I want to be better than that. <laughs> also, ain't no one got my style with this character. Right now, I'm like, hey, I don't really like the headpiece. By the way, it looks out of place. You know, maybe when I level it up, it might be it may change. Also, I'm not leveling up the headpiece. It costs way too much. It's one of those like, oh hell no, <laughs> it's fuck off, <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> You're the worst kind of stuff. I mean, weirdly enough, we have a DOD set, uh, a Candy Wolf set, and a maybe a Milk set in the future. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, uh, I, I think at the beginning of Let It Die, I said something like that. Like, that was my goal. That's something I wanted to do. And, uh, lo and behold, we're doing it! <laughs> we're doing something like it. Kind of similar. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go fight Gato one more time. Uh, yeah. Well, sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's go fight Jendai as well. Uh, but, so you guys are making, there's gonna be three videos, um, after this one, I think, uh, that you guys may want to skip. Uh, and I say that because, I mean, we're gonna be having a fun time, and be joking around the whole time, but, um, I recently seen a video where, uh, a person was talking about how, I'm talking too quickly, a person was talking about how they were having trouble with the final, with the, like, end bosses, and I agree, I think that I had tons of trouble, and only until I, I broke the game was I able to beat them. I would have appreciated knowing that it didn't take all of those shrooms and all of those crazy weapons to beat them. Uh, cause, especially with like, Gato and Jendai, they all have tricks. Gato being the one that doesn't have as many tricks, but he's just easily beatable. Based on how slow he is. I gotta go do something, give me a minute. But yeah, basically I wanted to make a video series covering, uh, Gato, Jendai, uh, Cohen, and then the other, the other gunner lady, which I honestly haven't fought yet, cause I don't need War Assembly Red, but We'll see. <laughs> Let's go smack the fuck up out of Gato. This time, 
We're going to be using the rage move. Oh, I don't want to though, because <laughs> it, it does cost a, that's not, I wanted to make a pit stop, but we gotta, we gotta make this not happen. We gotta hurry. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be using the rage move on the big gun. Uh, so we're gonna be smacking him three times. Yeah, let's use the rage move on Gato, and then we'll, we'll try to finish him, finish him up with like uh, melee hits. Uh, but then when it comes to Jendai, I think we may just have to burn him. Uh, because Jendai is actually a really weird fight. If you have a gun, it's fine. <laughs> like if you have the, the assault rifle, you're fine. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Jendai has something tied. Now I'll look up before I make the look this up before I make the video. But I'm pretty sure he has uh, this thing where if you if you have a range weapon and you do damage to his tail, he'll uh, it'll short circuit and he'll be stunned for a little bit, and that allows you to punish and do damage. You know what would be a good perk for this weapon? What if you burned an enemy and you and and the perk was basically you do more damage. Uh, to a burned enemy, or you do more melee damage to burning enemies. Uh, that'd be perfect. That would work so perfectly in harmony. It'll set someone on fire, and that enhances the damage of your melee attack, which is your right hook or your left, your other weapon. That'd be fantastic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> May. <laughs> the weapon is has come alive again. So it seems like that's its damage. It's its right hook. Why did he do that much damage to the one person? Is it because uh, he had like resistant armor on? Like armor that was specifically good to whatever I was, whatever damage I was dealing? I don't know, but that did a good bit. <laughs> I, I'm, again, I'm not even spec for the weapon. Like I know some people who see me take down Gato with my murderous hockey stick, yeah, realize I am making that thing good with every fiber of my being. <laughs> so yeah. And now we're off to kill Jendai, which, uh, what? Oh no. Was I supposed to kill Gato? I forgot what I was trying to do. Was I supposed to kill Gato with a rage room? <laughs> ah. Well. <laughs> crap. I, I don't think I was. Oh, by the way. Having that is insane. Like, <laughs> not having to take the into account the most budgeted option for your travel in terms of elevator costs and all that other jazz is impossibly valuable. Like, I hate that the membership costs $30 a month. If it was something like you spend ten dollars and you get like ten free day passes, then I'd be like, okay, that's actually not that bad. Uh, but I don't believe that is the case, unfortunately. Also, to get to Jendai is a fucking pain in the ass. No. First of all, let's do this. Oh really? Oh really? Bam! Get away from me! <laughs> get all the steel there. Though. I do think Jendai is blunt though, so we may, well, like, we're, our, we have so much resistance on passive level, so I think we'll be uh, okay. <laughs> it's maybe okay. A little bit okay. <laughs> Just a little bit. Got the rage move primed, ready to go. Let's reload this. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, yay. It's at the very end of the map. Lovely. Quickly. All right, Jendai. You son of a bitch. What? The fuck? Why didn't I do anything? There we go. Wait, wait, roll, roll me. All right, that's fine. Light you up, light you up, light you up. Blah, bam! Fucking get wrecked, Jendai. <laughs> for flamethrower. Oh, look at that thumbnail. Pow. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I don't think we need hover metal. Eh, we don't need this. We don't need the healing. There's no special shroom over that. No, there is not. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, yeah, it, it's a lot more accurate that fireball. I thought it had some AOE properties. Nah, it's just a, it's just like a bullet basically. It doesn't explode. It might. It's just not that generous at all. <laughs> and uh, the damn tail, Jendai's bullshit tail. Excuse me. All right, bam, and right of breath. My unfortunate. Hey, look at me. Don't do this. Ah. I want those kill coins. Get me good kill coins. There we go. Six thousand. <laughs> it's okay. I was able to one shot or backhand the hell out of the one person. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. That was its well, not really. <laughs> that wasn't its rage move. We hit, we do have enough for one other like hurrah with that rage move, and I bet Gata would just eat that rage move up. Let's go fight Gata one more time. One more time. And then we're just gonna spend like two seconds in the TDM. Well, that, that's why I'm kind of like debating if we should do this, is because we have to spend some time in the TDM. But honestly. I don't know, the TDM to me, it's it's unrealistic to think like that much people are wearing armor. Then again, maybe it's not, because when you get a plus 50, it's going to be like that. Then again, this isn't a 5 tier plus, so it doesn't have infinite bullets and infinite fire for you just to go... <laughs> yeah, 
month over here. Oh, by the way, this is a thing. I'm, I think I told you guys, guys about this last time. It's like a little secret entrance so you don't have to go down the death hallway. You just pop out over here and you're, you're good as new. Ah, we're back. <laughs> Let's go kill Gato with the, with the rage move specifically. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth the durability chunk that it's going to take. We'll see. I have a feeling it's not. <laughs> it's not going to be worth it entirely. Yeah, not really worth it. I don't think that was enough damage as this. Then again, its ammo capacity outlives its its other the other stuff. So maybe <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's drop this. We don't need those. I just picked them up because it's quest. Uh, yeah, actually, guys, I think that's where we're gonna end it. Uh, there's not much else I uh, I wanna talk about besides that. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching as always. Uh, that that was the uh, the the TDM season four rewards. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing. That was messy, but we did it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, that was the TDM Deathburner Iron. I'm not going to pop down uh, to the TDM just because I feel like it's not exactly worth it. Like, we've already seen kind of what it does. Um, and I, it does just does what it does previously a tiny bit better. Um, unless you're talking about the right hook. The right hook is, like, massively jumped up in terms of damage. But it's a fun weapon. It's a weapon that if I get... And I have time, and I, I see, like, hey, uh, it doesn't ask for something crazy, which I think it does. I think it asks for, like, probably an 8, an 8 per, per upgrade kind of deal. 8 items per upgrade, which would be a bit, and I don't know. It Honestly, it all depends. It all depends on what I'm trying to go after. Honestly, I'm, I'm trying to look for another weapon that I want to really upgrade, like the hockey stick. And it has to be a two-handed weapon, though, because I'm very much built for the two-handed kind of weapons. The only one that I can really think of is the uh, is the gun, the assault rifle. But uh, the assault rifle is also kind of iffy because of a vast variety of reasons. Uh, it asks for like a, a crazy amount of a specific uh, type of material. It's really hard to get. Uh, but anyways, not purple metal, but stuff like it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. Let me know uh, if this if I missed something with the weapon. But yeah, thank you guys so much and goodbye.